Hello fire signs, Aries, Sag, Leo. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for being here with me. We're going to be looking at the one who ghosted you. So we're going to see why this person did what they did, what's going on with them since, maybe what they're thinking and feeling and why they did what they did. Um, so this can be for Aries, Sag, Leo, but also if you're dealing with a fire sign as well, this reading can be applicable for you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Um, that would be very much appreciated. Otherwise, let's jump into the reading and see um, <clears throat> what comes up exactly as to the one who ghosted you. Let's see if we can get some closure or understanding as to why this happened. <clears throat> Okay, so straight away I'm really drawn to the to the kings that are here in the emperor and straight away I get a sense that this person did some ghosting because of people being in this person's ear all right so <clears throat> straight away I get a friend I, I get a sense that friends had a lot to do with this person doing what they did it's like they were influenced very much by friends okay we've got a couple of kings we have an emperor it could even be family um, something that didn't align traditionally between the both of you and like particularly if you guys were still in the early stages and you were still getting to know each other um, fire signs I feel like what I'm seeing here is you might have been stubborn or set in your ways about something and then this person told their friends about it okay maybe even family members who have got an emperor it can be like a father or a brother figure and then this person was like no you know, you guys aren't going to get along because X, Y, and Z. And then I feel like this person was impressionable and they just ghosted and disappeared because of that. So I think there was a lot to do with family, friends, something to do with other people in this person's ear. Okay. I feel like there were a lot of people that had something to say and then it just all got too much for this person. So I feel like this is more... For those that were in the early stages of a connection um, or in the early stages of getting to know someone or if you didn't have like such a big history with each other um, then maybe that's what the cards are saying here <clears throat> but yeah i feel like what i'm seeing here with that uh 10 10 of wands um i feel like it just someone felt too pressured or someone felt like your values your common interests didn't align but I also want to say there might have been someone else in the picture here. We've got the Ace of Cups. So this is a powerful love connection. Now, I get a sense that for some of you, someone was someone else was in the picture here. I don't really get like third parties though. Um, I do get like this person was weighing you up and comparing you to someone special in their life. Um, could be like they're compa they were comparing you to their ex and the X1 in a comparison. Um, yeah, I get a sense that it could be something like that. Um, because the Ace of Cups, it, it evokes emotion. So obviously I feel like they, they had someone they were still attached to emotionally and they were comparing you, okay? I'm not gonna beat around the bush fire signs. They were comparing you to this person but the difference is, is they had an emotional history. So they, they had an attachment. They had an attachment greater than what you guys had. That's why I get it was an ex. I don't get it was, I don't, I mean, we're not having strong energies that it was from the past. It could have been someone new, but somehow the emotional connection was greater for this person. And they decided to go with that, that, that person here. Um, I do feel like they were very excited about you. But I feel at times they felt like you were out of their league, like the Emperor. The Emperor is a, t a, a hard nut to crack. So I get a sense that this person was quite intimidated or something that maybe your ex gave you or something that you used to have in your previous relationship. This person was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I can't stack up against this person's ex, you know. I used to take them out all the time. They had a lot of money. They were wealthy. They were really successful. They did a lot for this person. And suddenly they're like, does that mean... 
I have to do the same thing. Maybe they weren't prepared to do these big things, fire signs. But more than anything, I get it was like a family influence or a friend influence that had an oppression on this person, okay? Um, we do have Aries and Leo here in the cards, so these signs have come up. But the King of Swords means, and it's sitting in the center of the reading, I feel like they're, you're still on this person's mind or they're still talking about you to other people. The King of Swords is like they haven't resolved um, their feelings just yet. You're still in their mind or maybe this person will make contact or maybe you guys still talk um, and they may still inquire about you. And that's because I feel like obviously there's still something there. Um, let's see what else comes up. Okay, Ten of Pentacles has come up twice. We've got um, Ace of Wands reversed. We have the Death card. Okay, so it could be it could be that they had other stuff going on that they didn't tell you about. And I mentioned to see the Death card here. I reckon it might have been. I reckon it might have been an ex, or I, I reckon they were still involved or attached to someone else. Okay, they had temperance, so they needed to be honest with themselves. Two of Pentacles is here again, so multiple connections are coming up next to this person. And then what further makes me think it's the past, we've got the moon here, could be Cancer, but also Cancer is still like attached to something or being nostalgic. Could also be that you reminded them of their ex-partner and then they were like, you know, wow, I'm going to inquire about my ex and see how they are. And then maybe things took off from there. Um, it seems like dramatic. Look at her. She's like quite dramatic here. Okay. So possibly had some drama going on that you didn't know about. Probably not concerning you, fire signs. Um, could also be that they felt neglected. I don't know, I, I reckon it's the friends or the family that had something dramatic to say. Something happened maybe in between you guys, you had a convo, you were getting to know each other. Um, maybe you had a disagreement of some kind. This person went and told their friends and family and then it's sort of like their friends and family even are overreacted and then it led to this person like ghosting and being like, okay, well, I don't know how to handle this situation so I'm just gonna leave entirely. You know, it's the coward's way out. I don't like that because I feel like it's the coward's way out. Um, but I also think it's not just that because if it was just that, I, I, I feel like they would be back sooner. I get a sense that it was more than just what we're seeing from the influence from the friends and family. I get that there was someone else from the past here as well. Whether or not they were speaking to this person as you guys were speaking, probably not. Aces tell me it's probably like a newer connection, meaning that since maybe this person has ghosted you, maybe they've, um... Maybe if they've decided to be more involved with their ex and see how they're doing and, and, you know, so I don't get a sense that this person was too timing, but I do feel like they were drawing comparisons and I do feel like, you know, even their friends and family might have been like, oh, why are you dealing with this new person? What happened to so-and-so that you had, you know, so they could have had that influence and then suddenly this person, that influence um, evoke this person's subconscious and made them think about their ex even though they might have not have been you know people's influence have a lot a lot of impact uh, on us and I feel like that was the case with this person but like I said I still feel like you're on their mind and you may hear from them again um, or you may make some sort of contact with them possibly uh, as well um, I will leave it at that though. So thank you everyone for tuning in. Really do appreciate it. Um, hope to be in touch very, very soon. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and bye for now.